cash flow and debt management cash flow and debt management how you handle this is 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 a make or break for your for your team and the company this is what i call debt uh, finance debt test this is a stage which can quickly collapse the business uh, if it is not handled wisely knowing how to borrow and paying it back is important you need to keenly monitor your finances and, and how money comes in and out of the business. This I have learned the hardest way and stop learning. Looking at our economy and business culture, starting a business in the construction industry where you have to work and accumulate before you are paid is not the best place to start business if you're not that experienced. The cash flow problems are many for contractors. I have had lots of difficulties in this area and in this area outside construction our other industries have done better you know so because the other industries did, did well because of the cash flow issues you know we were able to uh, set other businesses that where we could see money the construction and project kind of businesses you have to really rely on just one source on that particular project and, and you're sinking a lot of money and if somebody messes up you are you're screwed you know so government institutions and how to deal with them uh, morally and, and legally, learn how to cooperate with public and civil servants law, law, lawfully and, and ethically. Every stage of the business requires certain skills and expertise and abilities. Success is linked to your emotional state and internal motivation than your educational uh, or professional experience. The very essence of entrepreneurship is how you handle mistakes and errors, and that's everything. So you are the way you're able to you you're able to keep going, you know, or you keep going when everything else seems like not working, when everybody is saying give up, when everybody how you motivate yourself internally is what separates you from the rest. So my name is Obina. I'm reviewing uh, perspective how to start, uh, how to develop the mindset to start and to build your own business. On chapter six, we talks about leadership and character. So entrepreneur's job is to deal with uncertainties, you know how to know, predict and solve uncertain uncertainties is so uh, imperative. The satisfaction of building an idea into something that is adding value to lives and creating opportunities is a great feeling. When you go back and you see that the thing that you were grappling with, the thing that you were struggling with, now people have been employed in that business and a lot of the times they don't know what you have to do, what you have to go through. For this business to start to work. Business failure is so rare and the percentages are so high. Are so high in countries with certain with business structures. Uh, in countries that business structures are well developed, the percentage of business failure is still high, mainly because of the, the person starting business, the, their leadership, entrepreneurial skill, professional development, the understanding of the industry that they are operating in, the culture of the people. And, you know, financing, things like that. We have many graduates being churned out of uh, our investors who are without technical skills and professional experience, yet we want them to start businesses and to create jobs for, for themselves. You know, this normally comes from those who have not really started companies from the ground. <laughs> you know, we encourage us to start businesses, get to their own, their own somebody's salary. You know, so uh, when children are exposed to commerce in the early stages of their lives and devote a lot of time in reading about it, they end up founding companies. You know, people when people uh, end up becoming entrepreneurs when in the early stages they were exposed to commerce to something that has to do with uh, business. A lot of the times, the defining moment, the defining moments come when people spend their time on what, on that which they have been gifted naturally. You know, and. Uh, practicing them and getting proper information on them. My suggestions will be stop the fear of failing in starting any business. Some have tried as many as four businesses before succeeding. You should be looking at doing as many as ten if you if it has to take you that you know if it has to take you that many times to get the skills the skill of building a business because business, building a business is a skill and a lot of the times we, we keep failing because the skill is not developed the moment the skill is developed we, you know the failure rate drops drastically it takes time to build expertise and you know building a business is not an exception 
it is far better starting with partners than to go alone. You may start with a friend or a family. You have to do your search well, look for their stretch tolerance level, their expertise, the outlook, outlook of life, the inclination, the vision, the division of the business. However, it is better to go alone than to go with the wrong team. If the business is wrong, the business will fail. If, if the team is wrong, the business will fail before it, it even starts. <laughs> before you even start registering a business, open an account, you will need good relationship with your bankers. Most people might think you are in business because you are not able to find a job. That perception or their perceptions will change. When you start to most people can't tag you with anything. What is important is that you keep going, you keep fighting forward. Don't overthink and overanalyze. It's a sign that you're not ready yet. It may take, it may show you, it may show that you're so afraid of starting. Entrepreneurship is about doing. Entrepreneurship, if there is nothing you get at all, entrepreneurship is about doing, it's about action. It's about starting, it's about getting results. You know, so get a website, create a social media presence and your room can serve as an office. Don't worry so much with getting an office to start. The money to rent an office can be used for the first order. Be straightforward and honest in your dealings. This is your biggest competitive edge. If people can trust you, you will go places. Don't change what makes people uh, trust you when you succeed. When you start to succeed, you are prone to, to give people the feedback. You are honest. Don't change those things when you start to see success. Don't be afraid of the mistakes and controversies that come. With building a company, they will come, but they don't have to kill you or your dream and your passion. Talk to the tax office, the social security people, or the relevant government agencies because you will have to deal with them anyway. You know, so you better <laughs> understand them. Create partnership and be resolute not to get into shady deals. You, you exchange the wisdom and muscle that you need as an entrepreneur when you are making shortcuts. When you borrow money, make it a point to pay back no matter the difficulties. Make it a point. Debt money made is part of the lessons that you have to learn. We have to learn to pay back our loans and how to use credit for to build businesses as well. Most people don't agree with this, but it is a acceptable practice. You know how to use good debt to build businesses. You need lawyers, consultants, IT, human resource professionals along the way. But remember, this is still your final decision. You know, this is your call and it's your business. So after talking to them, you still have to be the one taking ownership of the decision that you're going to make because you will deal with the mess. They can move on. Read articles on business, leadership, finance, and the industry you are in. It's a life, not commitment to learning. You must learn. You know, go for excellence in all your dealings. We go, we can go with our culture, our identity, but an identity, but we cannot sacrifice the quality and the excellence that is required around the world. So we go to our culture, African culture is not inferiority, it's not mediocre, it's not mediocrity. So you go with the best, you know, that go with some originality as well. You are not an European, you're not a British, you're not an American, you're an African. You know, so you grow up with that culture and you look at the culture and what you can develop to the standards that get results. Not the British standard, to the standards that get results. And that is acceptable. Learn how to raise capital from your customers, partners, investors. It is crucial skill and it does not come that swiftly. So the best way to raise capital is from selling your product or your service. Find people who are doing it and learn from them. Not those who are writing articles about entrepreneurship. There are many. But those who are doing it with character, the wisdom is always invaluable. Leadership is required to build structures and teams to handle growth. You cannot grow without leadership and without organization, without structure. There is vision, leader, and the team. Leadership is influential and is, and is also inspirational. Or it is not leadership at all. So it must be influential and it must be inspirational. The population is ever increasing and we need more entrepreneurs to the food, shelter, clothing, and water, and any energy. No other group can do this but ourselves as Africans. The love for the people, sense of purpose, sense of vision, sense of history can produce that generation that can solve our problems as Africans. So thank you very much for watching this.